saying sorry as a nationwide manhunt continues for a Northwestern professor wanted for murder. New video surfaces of Wyndham Latham apologizing. Good afternoon. I'm Erica Sargent. Rob has the night off. The video in the hands of family and friends deepens the mystery into what happened. And so does Latham's actions. Police say he and another suspect, Andrew Warren, made a stop in Lake Geneva. CBS 2's Dorothy Tucker explains what they did there in this developing story. The popular tourist town of Lake Geneva is now part of a murder investigation. Chicago police believe on the day the mutilated body of Trenton Cornell Duranlu was found in a River North condo, the two murder suspects, Wyndham Latham and Andrew Warren, visited the Lake Geneva Library. It's, it's concerning. Uh, anytime somebody that's a suspect in a crime of, of that violent nature uh, is here, um, it definitely perks our um, alert level. Detective Edward Gritzner interviewed the library workers who say a lone man walked into the building on July 27th around 5 p.m. Wouldn't leave his name, but wanted to donate a thousand dollars cash in the name of a friend. Um, it turned out uh, the individual they wished that donation for uh, was a homicide victim out of Chicago. In the suspects, any connection to Lake Geneva? None whatsoever. The suspects nor the victim are not known to our department. Back in Chicago, police confirmed that Latham sent a video message to various friends and family members apologizing for his involvement in the murder, saying this was a very big mistake. Detectives say they tracked the suspects to the library in Lake Geneva through GPS on their phones and credit card purchases. They don't believe they're still in the area. Still, well, I hope they catch him yeah. and fast. Chicago police believe the video is an indication the men are running out of money and energy. With the help of the U.S. Marshals and the FBI, police say it's just a matter of time before they track down the murder suspects. Still, they're hoping that they just turn themselves in. Reporting live from the newsroom, Dorothy Tucker, CBS 2 News. Erica? Okay, Dorothy, thank you.